Adam Meschini in the red with black trim. Emra Sommez in the solid black shorts. A lot of support here tonight in London for Emra Sommez. Always brings a good crowd with him. Trading low kicks there with Meschini to start things off. Meschini nearly two pounds over and his initial attempt yesterday did come back within the two hours and make the weight. Didn't look too drained, so perhaps something to keep an eye on as the fight wears on, perhaps not. Shot by Sommers. He's on this deep single leg here. Yeah, Sommers loves the rest and we knew that shot would be coming eventually. Nice defensive work so far by Meschini. Jumps over the top there and finds himself caught on his back. Struggling to get back to the feet there. And Sommers is looking to tie up those legs. Pick those shots. What's the back of that head? Referee Mark Goddard just warning there. Skinny about that shot selection. Yeah, back to his feet there, but still having to, to worry about these takedown attempts. So, uh, Emre has a very specific game plan there, and that's going to try and get that, get this fight to the ground. Nice underhooks, double underhooks here by Moschini. Ashley Grimshaw in the corner there, calling out the disengage and fire. Let's see if we're going to see that. Yeah, Moschini looks like he, he's trying to pull down on the head in that almost tight clinch yeah. fashion there. So, see if he can get some knees going up the middle if he can. And that's exactly Stop. what Sommez's Stop. corner were warning him about. But an errant knee there from Emre Sommez. Okay, come off the fence. Come off the fence. Come off the fence. I'm going to start again. I'm going to start again off the fence, okay? Just be careful in that clinch. Ready? Fight. And Moschini ready to go, but Mark Goddard taking the position away from Sommez there. And again, Sommez just barreling in. Looking for that takedown. Yeah, I think there's a pretty transparent in the game plan here. So I'm at his corner warning that man that Meschini is trying to time that knee on the way in. Yeah, very nicely timed on that level change by Summers, but Meschini doing a fantastic job so far of defending the takedowns. I mean, like you said in the uh, in that walkout, Brad, Meschini considers himself an all-round fighter, and right now he's uh, he's doing a pretty good good job proving that. Looking to create a frame there is Meschini, trying to find a way out from behind Summers on the cage. Nods from uh, Emra as he listens to the instructions from his corner. Good head position here from Meschini. Oh, lovely throw there from Sommez. Can he come out on top? No. Meschini straight back to his feet. And immediately you see someone in his corner calling for the man to keep his hands tight. As soon as they separate, they know the strikes are coming. Oh, Meschini, a beautiful switch knee there. Yeah, Meschini looks like he's posturing for these uh, knees the entire fight. Finally able to get to that nice clinch position and, uh, and land one. But Sommez straight back on this clinch position, trying to get low, trying to force the takedown. Meschini continuing to do a pretty good job. But Oh, nice striking off the break there, straight back in on a takedown. Meschini defending nicely once again. Emre lifts up, he's going to get a return. And he did a pretty good job of moving Meschini away from the fence. Meschini's using the fence so effectively to not just defend these takedowns, but also pop back to his feet on the occasion that he did get taken down. It would be a great idea for Sommers to try and move this takedown attempt closer to the center of the cage, but... Yeah, easier said than done. 100%. Adam Meschini is proving to be a, a tricky customer here to take down for Emerson Mez. 
a guy we know has great wrestling skills. Oh, keep going, keep there. going. Just running. Adam Meschini not to call his own fouls. Yeah, Meschini instantly looking up at Mark uh, with, with the question marks in his eyes. Stop. Potential. Uh, You're on your way up. I mean, on your way up. It, uh, and you see Mark explaining that. That was a clean knee. Take down. Touch of gloves, and these guys are keen to get back underway here. Slip from Meschini and it finds uh, Somers in his best clinch position today. Oh, and he bailed, he's able to pick him up and he's going to jump straight on the back here. We've seen a lot of very good uh, defensive grappling from Meschini, so it's going to be interesting to see how he deals with this. He's trying to get himself back to the fence here. Somers, Somers, Somers is great from this position. Get your hand off, get your hand off. Some serious damage with strikes up against the cage. Yeah, Meschini looking, and, and look how Somers has moved him off of the fence now. This is a massive thing. We saw Meschini look to grab the fence a couple of times there. And uh, again, a warning from Mark Goddard. Somers now in a great top position here, away from the fence. This is so important, especially, it's important in MMA full stop, whether you're in a, next to the fence or not, when someone's grappling. But the fact that Meschini has been using the fence so effectively so far in this fight, the fact that Emra is in this top position, away from the fence is massive, but Meschini tries to wrestle up here, and he's doing a pretty good job of that. He's looking to switch through here, and as he does, Somers takes the mount position beautifully done. I mean, fantastic. He's in a, this is a fantastic position. Three minutes 40 to work in this round. Really quite a distance away from the fence here. Meschini's going to try and move himself towards, but he's going to eat a lot of damage by the Anatolian Wolf as he tries to do it. There you go. He pushes into the half guard position. This is great work from Emre Somers, really putting his skill set to bear. Yeah, by far the, the most success that Emre's had in this, in this fight so far. He's looking to pass the guard again, successfully done. He's working his way further away from the fence here. This is fantastic. As you can see, uh, Meschini has an underhook with that right arm underneath there, so Emre's taking a wizard position to stop him from coming out the back door with that, successfully done. Meschini tries to get that right leg back on the inside for a guard position. It looks like he's about to be able to do it once again. He takes that underhook on that left-hand side now. This time, looking, uh, Somers is looking to take a body lock position. Meschini does a good job of getting into the half guard here. He's going to try and stand back up, but they are literally in the middle of the cage now. This is such a good position for Somers, and he passes to the mount position position way too easy I mean a really open half guard position here and now Meschini is going to have to work extremely hard pumping those hips up moving and hip escaping to the side trying to regain that guard position he's able to do it the momentum firmly in the direction of Emma Somres here deep half uh, deep half guard attempt by Meschini but quickly bailed in in lieu of a half bar flight guard, he attempts a sweep there, but not much success with it. And Somers just striking lots of ground to pound for this position. Meschini look for a second to grab the wrist, possibly thinking about throwing the legs up for a triangle. Throwing a submission off the back is a good way of forcing your opponent to back out of a forward momentum onslaught and can create a little bit of space to, 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 to get back to your feet. Meschini, you see how he's walking with his shoulders, he's trying to get back towards the fence here. And, if Somers can keep him off of that fence, I think he's going to continue to dominate. It looks like he's tying up a Kimura on the far side, and he's forced to release it in order to maintain that position as Meschini tries to get to his feet. Back take attempt here, and look how Meschini looks. He, he's on his hands and his knees back to the fence here. And watch how these grappling exchanges completely change now. There we go. Now Meschini is able to finally be able to get back to his feet, but he's got his hand on the floor there. Somers has to be very careful, and he's doing this on purpose, specifically so he doesn't get kneed in the head. And now Meschini, we're back to a similar position we were seeing for the hold of that first round. Again, the takedown comes, but it's going to be very, very different on the ground here. Immediately back upright. I was saying in one of the earlier fights, this weird position, I don't know, it needs a new name. This position when someone is sitting upright against the fence in MMA, it just does not happen in uh, pure grappling at all when it's only a mat. And it, it, and it completely changes the game. When Emma had Meschini in the middle of the cage, they're so dominant in the grappling and is unable to have the same sort of effect against the fence. But what the fence does, can do, is allow you to drop that ground and pound even more aggressively. And Emra Soma is certainly being very aggressive in the closing stages of this second round. 
Really putting his stamp on this one. I don't think there'll be any doubt from the judges. Oh, there's no doubt. Who's got round two here? There is no doubt. Very, very strong round. Second round for the Anatolian Wolf. Nice elbow there from Son Mez as he chases another takedown in the closing seconds. Probably not going to get much of it here. Reverse triangle, yeah, reverse triangle in the final seconds. And that's something Sotmes may have to think about in this third round. I think there's a very good chance it could be one apiece. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't disagree with that, Dan. Third and final round here, Emma Sotmes, Adam Moschini. Everything to play for. The crowd here in London firmly behind the Anatolian Wolf. See that cage bird on the back of Moschini there from all those grappling exchanges. It's going to be interesting to see whether uh, Somers shoots a takedown when they're in the center there. Well, the takedown comes, but Moschini's back immediately up against the fence. And it's a difficult one. It's so much easier to attack the takedowns when you're against the fence and the opponent can't retreat. But then that the ease in the takedowns, I mean, look at that angle change. It says, you know, the ease in the takedowns, the trade-off is, is how difficult it is to control someone and dominate the, the grappling exchanges when they're up against the fence. Somers is able to use the fence to get onto that position and then turn around 180 degrees and redirect his opponent into towards the center here. Meschini doing the opposite as he tries to scramble to the feet, redirecting himself for another 180 degrees in the opposite direction to get his back up against the fence there. Somers just doggedly chasing this takedown again. A nice sprawl out from Meschini. Trying to fire some short elbows in as well. Looking for that reverse triangle almost again, it seemed. Yeah, I mean, the problem with that is if you commit to that reverse triangle, you're not going to be able to get the feet underneath you to try and defend against the takedown. I mean, he's looking to tie up a, a front headlock here, and Somers looking to directly fight that grip, and he's able to do so. And again, I don't know whether he does it or he did it on purpose or not, but he circled, Emra has circled himself towards the fence in order to try and keep Meschini off of it. But now it's Meschini who's actually looking to take top position. Emra now switching... Uh, Switching to a takedown of his own. We have a front headlock position with the right arm of Meschini. We could see him going for a guillotine. I think uh, Emirates going to be a little bit sharp on the hands there, defending against these hands being tied up. But Meschini does have a couple of submissions on his record, a, a rear naked choke and an arm triangle. So he's obviously got those skills as well. Yeah, it was the first time we saw really any offensive grappling uh, and any attempt to take the fight towards the ground by Meschini. And Emirates is able to take the fight down once again. And, you know, a, a, a meter and a half away from the fence here. And I think that's what the, the rest of this fight and the rest of this round is all going to be about. Can Emra Somers have that awareness and that control to not just dominate on top, but to stop Meschini being able to take himself towards the fence there and use it to his advantage. I mean, great position here. He's actually, Emra's in a great position to attack a triangle if he wanted to, but he's got to leave a little bit of space. and. Instead, he decides to, to, to demount that position and take side control here. Meschini's going to try and, I think, get onto his... Pro probably, if I was him, and what I'd expect him to do, I'm not sure what he's trying to attempt to do, tying up this arm on the, with, with, with the left hand. I'd expect to see him push him with the left hand and push him with his feet and trying to get himself back up against the fence. That's what I'd really be expecting. I mean, we know that Adam Meschini's capable of, of insane comebacks. Somers perhaps not wanting to take undue risks here in this third round. I mean, Somers has been having a lot of success uh, when he does get the fight to the ground. So, I mean, he's, he's been very, very dominant for the last nine minutes. So there's no reason for him to change his game plan here. He's half on the back. The skin he's using the fence to try and stop Somers from taking that full back position. But Somers is, uh, is, is very, very happy to oblige him in this... Uh, in his half back, this total position here, and to uh, land some ground and pound. It's exactly what he should be doing. Sometimes looks to have a, a little cut over the left eye there, but it's certainly nothing significant. See again, 
tries to chase this takedown. Yeah, and we see the same style of takedown where Sommers will bring the head up in between, drop his knees down, lift his opponent up over him, and there it goes again, and then redirect him away from the fence. It's really, really effective, and I'm surprised we don't see more people doing this in MMA. And again, he, look, he, he, he's getting closer, closer, almost in the center of the cage here. 20 seconds left. I don't think Moschini's going anywhere. Another very dominant round for uh, Emre Somers. Yeah, the Anatolian Wolf announcing his comeback. Yeah, so very, very solid. Here at Cage Warriors with a solid performance. I don't want to put Ian Dean shoes on, but I'd love to see uh, Emre Somers versus Steve Amable, maybe. That'd be a good clash in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. Moving on from this one. And it's a division that certainly has plenty of names chomping at the bit to move up that ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Your judges score this contest 30-27, 30-27, and 30-26. For your winner, by way of unanimous decision, in the red corner, Emra. And it's Soli and Wolf Sonmez. Big win for Emra Sonmez. He got a 10-8 round in there as well. One of the judges' scorecards, that 30-26. Yeah, it's got to be that second round, I think. It was super dominant. And I think in that second round, Emra Sonmez just, he found the formula he needed to win this fight, and he took it through to the third round. Very, very strong performance.